Here's what we're going to talk about while we're here. We want to take a break here, let you guys get some snack in you. Hydrate with the rest of the water you've got. I'm not going to tell anybody they have to drink this water, obviously, but we do need to talk about water filtration and water disinfection during this class. We'll talk more about it tomorrow. But this is a good spot to look at if you're going to collect water for those purposes. Even if you're going to run it through a filter, this would be what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something that's running over lots and lots of rocks that's coming out fairly clean looking when it comes off here. Obviously, you can't see the pathogen, but the water doesn't have a lot of debris that's going to clog a filter up. Now, the safest bet is always to filter it and boil it. CDC, Wilderness Medical Society agree, that's the safest bet, all right? 95 degrees outside right now, who wants to start a fire? Not too many of us, okay? At the same time, that's your safest bet. Now, you can carry filters with you, and different filters have different capabilities. You need to understand, when you buy a filter, what the capability of that filter is. Because not all filters are created equal. The Grail filter takes out 99.9% .9 of the waterborne pathogens, just like the Sawyer and the Life Straw and the Aquamira and all the other filters that are on the market that have the same claim. The difference is, this one also takes out viruses and chemicals. The simplicity of this filter is that it's self-contained. You don't have to back flush it. You don't have to mess with squeezing it. All you do is pull out the guts and the filter's at the bottom. This is the canister that never touches your mouth and never contaminates your water because it's always to the outside and your lips are up here. So I fill this canister up with suspect water to the line. I set it down flat. I can dry off the outside if I'm worried about that. This is the business end that I don't want in the foul water because I'm gonna push water through this filter into a secondary chamber that I'm gonna drink out of. By placing this on top, and just push it straight down. I have to open up the air valve here at the top in order to let water and air escape. Excuse me, air escape. It takes about seven or eight seconds to push this to the very bottom. Once you've done that, you have 20 plus ounces of crystal clear drinking water. And I have absolutely no problem with taking that water and drinking it. None at all. I've drank out of this thing all over the world. I've drank sulfur water through it. I've drank chlorine water through it. I've drank well water through it. I've drank water through it from an underpass in Italy. I've drank water in the Alpine Forest from it. I've drank water all over Sweden out of it. And Japan all out of it. And it's Japan swamp. So something like this will allow you to, A, refill other containers that you have and then fill it up the last time and filter it and carry it with you so that you've got something that can filter your water on the fly. As long as you have that metal container that you know you got to have to boil it if you can. If you can't boil for some reason, you can always do this. Maybe you can't start a fire. Maybe you're already so dehydrated you don't have time to start a fire and get more dehydrated doing that. You just want to get some liquid in you, this can be the ticket for that.